it's a silver lining and everything. Um, I do feel like we took a step back in the Davidson game. Um, some things that we had, we had fixed along the way in the process, the things I felt like we were starting to move forward on, we kind of took a step backward. Um, and, and I'm always going to harp on defense. And I think the things that Davidson runs offensively for us, um, we got lost on a few times. We weren't communicating on the floor. Um, and we've talked about it as a program, and we understand. We've watched film. We're going to watch even more. Davidson was a good game for us to get on film, if that makes any sense at all. It was a good opportunity for us to see some of where our deficiencies were offensively and defensively. But, of course, there's a lot that we can take from that game. Like I said, it's going to help us build um, from this point forward. And it was a good time because it, it's during a time where right before exams were now this week week we can really focus on those things and try to see if we can get back on track break it seems long um but in reality you know i have all these plans for this break that we got for games in reality it's not even as long as we would um, like for it to be with where we're at and where we need to be just because we had so many games we've already, we've already played eight games um, most teams have only played six at this point um, but it is a good time for us like i said to really focus in on just fine tuning a lot of the things that we need to fine tune. We're going to put in a couple new things and we're going to tweak a lot of things and that gives us, you know, opportunity to do that. But at the same time, we've got to give our girls some rest. We've got to give them some time off. Um, we gave them a day off yesterday. We'll give them a day off tomorrow. And just to get their legs back, to focus on their exams, you know, it's, it's really important for us for them to finish strong in the classroom academically. And they got a lot of things coming at them, coming at them right now that we don't need to continue to add to that at this point. We're still working on some details as far as the traveling is concerned, just because we have some, um, we've got some challenges as far as gym space and those things, which I'd like to get comfortable with um, so the girls will have a little consistency with what we're doing on the road. Um, but yeah, we're excited about it. I'm, I'm fired up about it to get back. A lot of the girls are really close to there, have family really close to, you know, the central part of the state to where they can get out and see us play and we've got good competition ahead of us. I mean Campbell has only lost you know lost two games so far in their schedule and they've had a pretty good schedule um, so that'll be a good that'll be good competition for us on Monday and then the turnaround with the one day turnaround for NC State um, and them just being in the ACC and having that caliber of talent coming at this part in the season it's a really good opportunity for us it poses a great challenge for us we've just got to get together mentally and be able to prepare for the road trip and be able to be able to perform you know when we're sitting in a hotel because both of those are seven o'clock games and we hadn't had a lot of those um, up until this point and we'll be in the hotel and we'll be traveling back and forth to shoot arounds and things like that so it'll be different for our kids especially for our young ones you know historical Reynolds Coliseum is being renovated which is just a fantastic thing and all in and of itself um, for them, I think they're probably used to it now. I think they're practicing in Dell, which is a small gym without even bleachers um, there on campus that their men use. Um, the facility, the high school gym that they use isn't particularly small itself. So um, for us, you know, it's just like a lot of the other gyms we've already played in. I don't know that it's going to be a big difference for either program, to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, they, they get opportunities to practice there, but they don't practice there all the time. and They don't get a chance to play there all the time. They're in different venues. So maybe that'll help us out as far as getting them off track and not as consistent as they would be if they were playing in a true home venue. Coach Moore used to be in the Southern Conference when I was in the Southern Conference and you know he was at Chattanooga which you know, was at the top of the conference for a long time. He's a great coach, there's no doubt about it. He's a legendary coach. Um, they, I'm so happy for him there at NC State uh, and the things that he's doing there. And yeah, I'm very familiar with NC State, I'm familiar with Coach West. Um, there's a lot of things I've actually recruited a couple of the players that are still there. So, but it's a different story. It's a different year. It's a different day. So, you know, there's a lot of different things that come at us that we've got to be ready to handle going into both games. Um, but in particular, NC State with a quick turnaround on uh, Wednesday. I'd like to see us be more comfortable on the floor, especially offensively. That's that's a huge goal, and I'd like to see us um, dominate the boards and get to the free throw line. That's a big goal for both games. You know, I think, especially at Davidson, we just aren't really clicking as well as I'd like for us to be offensively. Um, you know, we have 
we're just trying to get things settled in offensively. And a part of that is my fault because I focused in a lot on the defensive end of things. We hadn't even you know, ran offense as we have it for maybe three, four weeks. Um, so most of what we've been doing has been focused on defense. So I'm not surprised at it. I just would, you know, just like any other coach, I wish it would just happen instantaneous, and it's not. And we've got to get more comfortable with what we're doing on the floor offensively.